you look at Obamacare with the five billion dollar website and the wonderful former governor, who is a wonderful woman, didn't have a clue. She didn't have a clue. It was a mess. So how do you spend five billion on a website for something that has to be repealed and replaced with something much better? Has to be. Has to be. We have no choice. Donald Trump yesterday at a campaign event in South Carolina calling out Obamacare and its many flaws. But what is Trump's stance on health care and will it in fact make America great again? Let's talk about it. We welcome in from New York City health policy expert and the one-time lieutenant governor of the Empire State, Betsy McCoy. And joining us from our Newsmax newsroom, why it's Newsmax deputy health editor Nick Tate, who is the co-author of Da Vinci's Baby Boomer Survival Guide. To you both, welcome. Betsy, Trump has called the Affordable Care Act a big lie. What is the primary reason Obamacare is so unaffordable? Well, the primary reason is, uh, of course, that the Affordable Care Act made a lot of promises it didn't deliver, including, you'll see it was supposed to save money, the premiums have skyrocketed. But here's the point of Trump's plan, and this is really what we have to get after. Obamacare robs grandma to spread the wealth, takes almost a trillion dollars out of Medicare, literally raids Medicare, and pushes the money over to fund all these handouts and a lot of fraud and waste under Obamacare. Trump's program would undo that damage, literally rescuing Medicare from disaster. Trump says we need to save Medicare without cutting it to the bone. So Nick, can we guarantee the money will be there for seniors when we're facing $18 trillion in the national deficit? We can and we must. The, the problem is that right now the Medicare trust fund will completely ex exhaust all those funds by 2026. But there are ways that a lot of people advocate to come up with the money to pay for what is not an entitlement but really a guaranteed program that seniors have been paying to into their whole lives as they've worked. One of the ways clearly is to, is to reduce that funding that, that Obamacare takes from Medicare by between three quarters of a, of, of a, a billion and a trillion dollars. But the other is to eliminate some of the other costly components of Obamacare. Cutting the employer mandate, for instance, and the individual mandate would allow for some 16,000 new IRS agents who've been hired to police just those aspects of the plan alone, and that could result in lots uh, of savings as well. There are other costly programs that are tied just to Obamacare that might be relaxed or delayed or even eliminated, and the question is, will Trump do that in a, in a more comprehensive plan to repeal and replace Obamacare so that money goes to not only Medicare recipients, but those seniors who have a right to expect that Social Security will be there, and those funds run out in 2033. So we have two major, major problems. The good thing here is that Trump is not shying away from this, but he's really addressing and raising the level of, of debate on what we need to do to save these important programs for seniors. Uh, and, and J.D., let's listen, because when Obama and Hillary Clinton, who would be just a third term of Obama, when they talk about entitlement reform, listen to what they're saying. They're only talking about cutting seniors, whereas what we really need to do is to cut the new programs. The best way to reform entitlements is not to create new ones. And Obama did just the opposite. He created a huge new entitlement, Obamacare, including vastly expanding Medicaid. And where did he go for the money? He robbed grandma. Well, it is interesting to take a look at this whole entitlement question. Donald Trump says Washington should focus less on cutting Social Security and Medicare and more on cracking down on fraud and abuse. Nick, is there enough fraud and abuse to cut down on to make a significant difference and how might we combat it? The anti-fraud uh, uh, task force, which is a non-profit, non-partisan organization, estimates that about 3% of all health care funds go to, are lost in waste and fraud and abuse. That's about $60 billion a year. So if we tightened restrictions on doctors and, and raised penalties on those doctors that are billing for either phantom patients or phantom conditions, we, would, we could produce tens of billions of dollars that would actually go toward patient care. There, as we know, in Obamacare, there are also problems with waste and fraud. There was a recent 
recent report by the General Accounting Office that found that something like a dozen patients that were just phony patients were able to get federal subsidies through this sort of secret uh, plan that they, they put in place, this investigation. And to that end, we... Let me tell we, you something. If 11 out of 12 people who checked into Trump hotels or rented apartments in Trump buildings <laughs> were scoff laws who weren't going to pay, Trump would be on to it right away. But the U.S. Congress does nothing because it's not their money. It's our money. And Trump uh, is a guy who says he is a man of action. We will continue to watch what happens. And, of course, you heard him at the outset of our segment when he was talking about the humongous waste, the multi-billion dollar waste at putting together the uh, Obamacare website. For now, we offer our thanks to Betsy McCoy from New York and Nick Tate from our Newsmax newsroom. You know, Donald Trump is atop the polls. There's a reason why. He seems to have a definite plan for running the country. And in fact, most of that plan is in a book he wrote that he says will make America great. Trump's bestseller is called Time to Get Tough. It outlines his plan to roll back Obamacare, secure the border, deal with terrorism, and much more. Newsmax has an offer for you. Get the book for free. Go to Newsmax.com slash Trump book.